So what we're gonna be taking a look at is how we develop and practice our Ikom Kochi from Akikomi, okay? I see a lot of people struggle just to drill this and have that motion, so we're gonna work on it. It's really effective for judo, and it's effective for you random BJJ guys that like to do takedowns. So, the big thing we're trying to do right now, let's start this way, is we wanna have our partner just off center. So as you can see, I'm over here. That way I can practice getting to the other side. If you look down the line, it's going right down, and then I can get to that leg. So let's go line right down the center of his body. No, nope, that way, center, center. There we go, right down the center of the body. Perfect, and I want to start with my foot on the outside with my palm saying I get grip, okay? I'm gonna step forward to him, and then back step. And notice I change position on the line, okay? I'm actually moving my foot to this side, okay? Nice and simple. Step, and we're just working with each other, right? We're working with each other, changing our angle. Changing that angle, okay? Adding the hand, moving that angle, okay? So that's part one to the Uchikomi. The next part is, let's go sideways, is when he makes that advanced part with his leg, right? I push him, I get him to step. Notice this foot, is behind him already, okay? So when my foot's at that top of the triangle and I push him and I get that pull, I wanna pull enough so that my foot can slide behind him. I don't want him, here, yeah, half step. I don't wanna be here where I back step and I'm forced to go get it. You're always gonna end up shallow in that position. For competitions, it's okay, nothing's ever perfect. We deal with what we got, but when we develop and we practice the fundamentals, we do it right every time, okay? so. Foot's at the top, I pull, it's past, boom. I get a good, solid base here for the squat, and my knee is on the other side of his leg. I don't do this. This isn't right. I want to, boom, I want to get into this with my body, nice and close. Use your quad, boom, and I make that change where I'm in a position of power, and I can push through him, okay? One, two, one, two. One, two, and three would be the hook and the throw, okay? So again, a couple of key points here, back to the beginning, working on development, crossing that center plane, right? Next one being when he makes that step, making sure my foot slides into that position with ease because I have enough of a pull. Don't let them take a shallow step where you have to go into them to get it. Your pulling hand should do most of the work. Good luck.